Hello all. So now we are moving to the perspective projection of a cone. Problem is <coughs> draw the perspective view of a cone of diameter 50 mm and height is 60 mm. It is resting on the ground. It is axis 10 mm behind the picture plane. The station point is 40 mm above the ground plane. 40 mm above the ground plane. 70 mm in front of the picture plane. And the contained in the central plane, which passes at a distance of 35 mm from the axis of the cone to the axis. This is the problem. So the problem, <coughs> problem is a cone is resting on the ground. So in which view you can see the base of the cone? In the top view, you can see the base of the cone. Okay. In the top view, you can see the base of the cone. And it is given that uh, the axis of the cone is 10 mm behind the picture plane, right? Which means, suppose if this is the picture plane, at a distance of 10 mm behind the picture plane, we can draw the cone of diameter 50 mm. I hope you understood. See, because the axis of the cone is 10 mm behind the picture plane. That is given actually. The axis of the cone is 10 mm behind the picture plane. So, or you can draw a circle from that center at a distance of 10 mm, you can, you can uh, draw the picture plane. Like that also you can do. Okay. So, draw the picture plane. Draw a point at a distance of 10 mm. That will be the center of the cone. Draw a cone. Okay. Now, we have to look at the ground plane or ground line. It is given that eh? station point is 70 mm in front of the picture plane and 40 mm above the ground plane. So, 70 plus 40 is 1 ton. So, at a distance of value greater than 1 ton, we can draw the ground line. So, we have drawn the ground line also. Now, divide the circle into 8 equal parts. And it has, this is actually top view. So, A, B, C, D, E, F, G and H. Project all these points. So, that we will get a V a dash, V dash, C dash, D dash, V dash, F dash, G dash and F dash, Common dash, Common dash, and its height is 60 mm. So at the height of 60 mm, we can locate a O2 dash, so that a the front view of the cone also can be completed so that we have completed the front view also. What will be the next step? We have to look at the central plane, right? Central plane, central plane is a distance of 35 mm from the center to that right. So, this will be the central plane provided this distance is 35. So, we have obtained the central plane. Now, SP is 70 in front of. So, SP is 70 in front of and SP dash is 40 mm above the ground. SP is 70 mm in front of. So, this is this will be 70 and this will be 40. So, all has to be come. Now, connect SP with E. So, this will be E1, this point. Connect SP with F. So, here we will get F1. SP with G. So, G1, H. So, H1, A1.
what about the three other points uh, b c and d because all the other points apart from b c and d are behind the picture plane so that uh, when we connect the sp with the those point it appears as the picture plane and the corresponding point can be marked as e1 f1 h1 and a1 but see i am connecting sp with b when we connect the sp with the b it already meet with the b but has in the pairs the the picture plane right so what we have to do what we have to do is although it has in the meet the picture plane we have to extend it and meet the point and name it as b the same can be adopted for c so connect the sp with c and extend here it will meet with the picture plane name it as c1 similarly it will be b okay so in the previous question we seen that uh, if the observer uh, sorry if the object is behind the picture plane the image of the object will be smaller as uh, smaller than the original object in the picture plane when the object is touching the picture plane the image will be same as that of the object and when the object is in front of the picture plane you can see that uh, this is if, if this is an object you can see that uh, the visual rays are coming like this the one ray is coming here and another ray is coming here and then it will cross us to the picture plane so that uh, the image of this object will be bigger than this uh, object okay that is a difference when the object is behind the picture plane image will be uh, smaller when it is touching the picture plane both will have same dimensions or same size and when the object is in front of the picture plane the image will be bigger than the okay so we have obtained the corresponding points a1 b1 c1 on the picture plane now connect it sp dash with o2 dash sp dash with e dash d dash f dash c dash d dash b dash h dash and d dash that is complete now from b draw a vertical line see sp dash and b dash this is a line that has in the intersected with the, this vertical line so we have to extend this sp dash b dash and now we can obtain a point b here similarly from c1 draw a vertical line we extend this one and here we obtain capital c from d1 draw a vertical line we extend this so that at this point we have obtained capital d now from e e1 this will be capital e from f1 this will be capital f from g1 this will be capital g from h1 here will be h from a here will be capital a and from o1 from o2 Here will be what? So connect the AB, BC, CD, B, EF, FD, GH. This connect to what to tangential to the curve, and then we can draw and again tangential to this. So that this will be. Then let's take the axis also here. So this will be the axis of the curve. The height of the coordinates is 70. It is given. Sorry, 60. It is given. This diameter is 60. 
So, this is the perspective view of the given point. Okay. So, I think all of you have understood what I have.